Hey you, what up? Welcome to my channel, welcome back. Mariam here. In this video, I am gonna be doing a full face using all AAPI owned brands. So these are Asian American Pacific Islander American owned beauty brands that I'm gonna be slapping onto my face to create this look. And I gotta tell you, these brands and these products I am so well familiar with. I actually had almost like a bit of an epiphany at the end of this video. So I urge you to watch this video until the very end. But I'm very excited for this. I asked you guys if you wanted to see this type of video. I already created it for IG Reels and for TikTok. So this is the YouTube version where I talk through all of these products. I give you just a little bit of a brief bio or just a little bit more background information on some of these brands and their brand owners and why these brands and these products should be supported. Not just during AAPI Heritage Month, but always. So with that said, let's get into this video. Remember to subscribe if you aren't already, notification bell for Wednesdays and Sundays videos. And now let's hit it full face using AAPI owned beauty brands on this AAPI face. Let's hit it. As always, we've got notes. So for today, I'm gonna go down in order. I'm gonna start with primer and end with lips. And I'm gonna be using all Asian American Pacific Islander owned brands. So not to be confused with K-Beauty brands or J-Beauty brands. These are American brands that were founded by Asian Americans or Pacific Islanders. Let's begin with primer. For the primer today, I'm gonna be using this Tatcha, the liquid silk canvas. And although Tatcha is a skin skincare brand, it definitely does have a few skincare to makeup type of products that are really, really very good. So this primer here is a protective primer. It is oil-free. You're supposed to apply one pump onto your skin after your SPF and before your makeup. So that is what I'm gonna do. I actually haven't used this one in a minute, but this is a very, very popular primer because it does help to smooth the surface of your skin. It has that nice slippery type of slide, but it feels very, very lightweight. On my forehead today, I have a big horn straight in the center. So I'm trying to cover up with my bangs that are very grown out. So you'll have to forgive me. Actually, that seemed to have reduced the size of the horn just a little bit, but I'm still gonna keep my forehead covered because while I'm doing my makeup, I still want to like what I see in the mirror and I definitely am not a fan of that horn. But anyway, back to Tatcha. Tatcha was founded by Vicky Tsai. She is a Taiwanese American, but the brand is actually rooted in Japanese rituals. And the story of Tatcha is that Vicky went to Japan and she met a geisha and that completely changed her routine and her outlook of beauty. And that is how Tatcha was born. I don't know Vicky personally, but I know of her and I've known Tatcha almost since the beginning. And I remember using this brand when they first launched up until now. And honestly, I have nothing negative to say. All their products have been really, really great. Moving on to foundation. In the foundation category, I have two products that I wanna mention. And one of them I'm actually gonna apply, the other one I'm just gonna mention because I did do a version of this video for IG Reels and for TikTok. And in that version, I used the Orsay Cosmetics Foundation, which this is actually formulated for Asian skin tones. And the shade that I use is 040 Nove. I love this foundation. This feels super, super luxurious. It is kind of on the pricey side, but it is a beautiful finish. It offers really gorgeous coverage. I would say medium to full, and it just makes your skin look super glowy, super radiant. And if you have an Asian undertone, if you're like a little bit on the yellowish side, this is something that I highly recommend. But I did use this in my other video. So for today, I'm gonna reach for something else. I'm actually gonna use the Patrick Ta Cream Foundation and Finishing Powder Duo. You already know that I like this one. I've talked about this one a lot last year when it launched. And so today I'm gonna go for it again. Patrick is someone who is known in the industry. He is an incredible makeup artist. He's a celebrity makeup artist. He works with pretty much everyone. And I gotta say, Patrick really knows his Asian skin tones like no other. And so out of the three foundations that I have here, light medium two, light medium one, and light medium four, I can use all of them. They all seem to work for me, even though they're all slightly different. Let's go for the light medium one. I'm gonna use this Rare Beauty brush. I'm just gonna start stippling that into my skin. This is unique. Even though it goes on like a cream, it sets to almost a powder-like finish. Like I said, the shades are very flattering. They are not too yellow, where it just looks so unnatural and so not like a skin tone. They're just the perfect amount of that yellow undertone that it works. It looks like human flesh and not like a joke. Because let's be honest, sometimes these mainstream 
mainstream brands, they just do not get those Asian undertones. Olives are also very hard, but not Patrick. Now, Patrick is incredible. I am a huge fan. I really admire his work. I have met him in the past, but I don't know him very well. I believe he is Vietnamese American, but I've said this before and I'll say this again. Patrick Ta is a gorgeous, gorgeous man. Like if you see this guy in person, you are just wowed. Like just by seeing him, you understand that this is what he was meant to do. He was born to beautify everything that is around him. Oh, I love this foundation so freaking much. I don't know if anything matches me better than this. It just makes my face look so much more even toned and so much less discolored. It matches my neck the way that I like it to. I'm such a fan. And I'm not gonna put too much on my forehead. I'm just gonna even it out a little bit. I actually have a facial later today, so I'm gonna have to remove all of this makeup the moment I finish filming. But man, every time I wear this foundation, I just feel so comfortable in my skin. And I gotta say, it is virtually undetectable. It doesn't even look like I'm wearing any makeup yet. My skin tone looks totally flawless right now. So needless to say, I'm a fan of this one. I'm not gonna use the powder from that foundation just yet. I wanna talk about other powders. For now, I'm gonna go to concealer and I'm gonna reach for one size, which was founded by the one and only Patrick Starr, a dear friend of mine, someone who I've also known for many years. Patrick, for those of you who don't know, is a Filipino American who was born here in New York and then he moved to Florida. He is a YouTuber, he is a content creator, he is a beauty entrepreneur, He's a friend. He's a brother. He's a kuya. And Patrick Starr, just like Patrick Ta, really, really knows his makeup. Fun fact. Years ago, when we all first started in the beauty industry, we were all staying at a friend's house in LA. This is before Patrick moved to LA. And one night, we decided that we wanted to do a little drag makeup on Lee, our swatch model. And let me tell you, watching Patrick do Lee's drag makeup was one of the highlights of my life. I have never seen anyone be so meticulous and so crafty and just so artsy about makeup until I watched Patrick do drag on Lee. It was honestly one of my favorite makeup moments, makeup memories. And you know what? I might be feeling generous, so I might actually just pop up a photo. Tell me if you've been following me long enough to remember that photo. So speaking of one size, this is actually one of my favorite brands for powders. And one of my favorite powders is the translucent one, this one. I've been using this one since the beginning. I feel like it is one of those incredibly, incredibly underrated powders. And I'm not sure why, because it deserves all the hype. Like I said, Patrick really knows his makeup. And because he is a man who wears makeup, he is a man who grows hair on his face. He created this powder for himself to smooth the facial hair stubble that he grows. So when he told me that, he said, Miriam, imagine what this can do for you if it can cover my facial stubble. And ever since then, I've been hooked. I love this powder for the under eye. I love it for all over the face. This is just a great all around setting powder. And you know, I do go back and forth to other powders just because I try so many products, but this is such a staple. I always go back to this one. It is super reliable. I love it in the mini size because it's so easy to travel with. It works in humidity. It works in a dry climate. It is just super solid, super trusty. I'll never stop using it. And even though the powder in the Patrick Ta foundation duo is really good and is formulated for this particular product. And this is what I would use if I am traveling and if I just need something quick. I also gotta give a shout out to the One Size Powder. This is actually a powder foundation and is very, very pigmented. And I just discovered my perfect shade, which is medium four. G, golden undertone. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I'm gonna do a little bit of both. I'm gonna do the Patrick Ta powder on my jawline and also on my forehead, very lightly, just to get rid of the shine. Then I'm gonna reach for the One Size by Patrick Star. I'm gonna use this to add a little bit of dimension. And of course, whenever I do that, I always forget that I had a cream product that I wanted to show you on camera and I just remembered after having already set my face. Two products that I'm talking about are Tower 28 Bronzer and Blush. Tower 28 was founded by Chinese American Amy Liu and it is a hot brand right now. They have some viral products that are very, very popular. And this brand was actually inspired by Amy's experience of living in LA as a Chinese American. So I really love her fresh take on beauty. And you know what? Even though I already powdered down, I'm gonna have to just do a little bit just to show you. I love that the products are very, very easy to use. They're very intuitive. They have the sun-kissed, beachy type of vibe, very carefree. Yet all the formulas are clean, 
clean ingredients. So anyone can use them, a novice or a makeup artist. They're just very easy, user-friendly type of products. All right, I'm not gonna go for the blush because I definitely powdered down my cheeks, but I wanted to at least show you a little bit of the bronzer and how easy to use it is. So again, this is the Tower 28 Bronzino Bronzer in the shade West Coast. Moving right along to highlighter. One of my current favorite highlighters is from Joa Beauty and it is called the Crystal Glow Tinted Luminizer Stick. Now they have this in multiple shades and it kind of looks like a foundation stick, but this is actually a highlighter. It is a balmy, creamy type of highlighter that I like to use on the tops of my cheekbones, especially when my hair is up like the way that it is today. So I just press my fingers into it and add a little bit of that luminosity on the top of my cheekbone, also in my temple and brow bone, kind of like that. So now Joa Beauty is the mastermind of KISS products. That's right, the KISS that is responsible for false cara and also Impress. They also founded Joa Beauty. And when I tell you, KISS sort of downplays how massive they actually are. I'm not exaggerating. I've been to their headquarters here in Port Washington, New York, because I've done some work with KISS in the past. And I was just blown away at this well-oiled machine that is the KISS headquarters. So now KISS was founded by a Korean American. I wanna say back in the 70s or in the 80s. So they have definitely been around for a long time and they are a giant. And now obviously many of you guys know that KISS is very well known for their nails, for their lashes, but perhaps you may have not known about Joa Beauty that was also founded by KISS. And I gotta give them props. I feel like what they were able to accomplish is really quite extraordinary. And yet they're not so talked about, or maybe they should be, or maybe they don't wanna be, I don't know. But I am a fan and I am impressed. And this to me is a brand to support. All right, let's move on to blush. I'm gonna go back to Patrick Ta. I have this blush in the shade She's Seductive. And this is probably the only nudie tone or mauve tone blush that I like to wear. Again, I think it's because most blushes that are of this color just don't look good on my skin tone, but Patrick Ta is someone who is really knowledgeable when it comes to Asian skin tones. And I gotta say, this is one of my favorite blushes, not just from him, but period. I like how natural it is. The shade is just right. It is just the perfect amount of blush to bronze to color. Again, shade, she's seductive. If you're you're looking for that everyday go-to type of blush that is a little mauvey, a little nudie, a little bronzy, but just works to amplify your complexion. This is an amazing, amazing, amazing blush. Alrighty, let's move on to some color cosmetics. I'm excited to talk to you guys about Kaja Beauty, which I actually did not know was an Asian American owned brand until I did the research. And now I know. So Kaja Beauty, which is actually the first K-Beauty inspired color brand at Sephora, which was founded by an Asian American, Dino Ha, focuses on beauty made simple. So there's all these cute, almost trinkety like beauty products like this eyeshadow palette. These are called the Beauty Bento eyeshadow palettes. They are so cute, so easy to travel with. And a lot of their products have this like innovation component. They have these amazing stamp liners, which are actually not a gimmick, they work. So I am gonna show you how they work but I really like their take on beauty. I like the fact that it is specifically made for the diverse US market, yet it is inspired by K-Beauty products, but it is an American brand and it is an Asian American founded brand. I'm pretty sure I own every single one of these beauty bento eyeshadows. They are so cute. And some of them I like better than others, I will admit that, because they all differ slightly. Some of them have matte and metallic, some of them are all matte, and some of them are all metallic. So the ones that I like are the ones that feature both matte and metallic, so you can actually create a look. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this one called Smoked Ginger. I'm not ac actually priming my eyes. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit. I'm gonna create a very subtle, smoky, liner wing, just like this. All right, so now that I have a little bit of a base, I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna use the Kaja Wing Eyeliner Stamp. There's actually two, there's a long one and there's a short one. I prefer the longer one. So there's a left and a right, boom, boom. And then I'm gonna grab the one size liner and just complete that. And it is really just that simple. I always like to elongate the liner slightly. 
but the stamp just makes it so much easier and quicker to create the perfect wing. And I know we've seen these before, but I have to say the Kaja Beauty wing stamper is my favorite one because the formula is actually very good. I'm someone who likes to get carried away when it comes to liner. Whenever I start doing liner work, I always end up taking my time and I always end up making it longer and more creative, I guess. But anyway, I'm gonna dip back into the eyeshadow and kind of just like soften the wing like that. I'm gonna grab a little bit of the shimmery shadow, which is the second tray here. I'm gonna add that to the lid, just to the movable part of the lid for a little bit of shimmer and dimension. And then I'm gonna dip into the top shadow or the top tray of the spiked ginger and just blend everything out. The top tray is a matte shadow. I'm just gonna add a little bit of contouring to my eye socket and make all of this a little bit smoother and just a little bit more meaningful, if you will. All right. That's that for the makeup. Really simple, really easy. Just wanted to show you how fun, how quick, how easy this is. But do keep in mind that some are better than others. Makeup is looking really cute and I don't want to take it off. I feel like everything is coming together. I'm creating my version of just the perfect everyday go-to face. And I, I think I'm going to be sad to take this off once this video is over. But let's move on. All right, if you are into makeup but have not heard of the Tower 28 Viral Mascara, then I gotta call it like it is. You must be living under a rock. This thing has gone so viral all over TikTok, all over YouTube, all over Instagram. There's like a massive thousands of people long waiting list for this product. I don't know if you will be able to get your hands on it if you don't already have it, but this is a viral sensation, even though it has a gimmicky wand that I don't particularly care for. But the product itself the mascara is really really worth the hype it lengthens the lashes and it makes them look so super incredible I actually use this one sparingly because I only have one and because it is such a hot commodity but this is one of those products in the clean beauty space category that actually works that actually gives you really great results without sacrificing quality efficacy as well as their brand DNA look at these lashes just one coat and the fact that it works on my short little Asian lashes means that it'll work for anyone. And if you have long lashes, this mascara will make them look incredible. It'll make them look like falsies. And you know what else is amazing about this product? It's not actually claimed to be a waterproof mascara, but it does not smudge whatsoever. It totally works as a waterproof mascara. So is it one of my favorites? Yeah, you can say that. <laughs> I just don't use it enough because I don't want to run through it too quickly, you know? I want to savor it. Oh, so good. I'm going to show you a close up. Impressive. Okay, for the brows, I'm just gonna reach for my NYX, which we all know is a L'Oreal brand. However, it was founded by Tony Ko, a Korean American, who has also founded Kim Chi Chic and Jason Wu Beauty. So she is a true beauty entrepreneur who not only founded NYX, who was able to sell her brand to none other than L'Oreal back when no one was doing this, back when this was not yet a thing. So they're kind of a an honorable mention, if you will. So no longer AAPI owned, but AAPI founded. So you gotta know their story. All right, I'm not gonna do too much. You're not even seeing my brows really, but I just wanted to throw that product in there just so I can talk a little bit about NYX and their founder, just to keep this video well-rounded, you know? Okay, we are almost done. We are at the lip category. So I'm gonna reach for a lip liner from one size, the Lip Snatcher. I'm gonna go for shade out of line. My lips are already lined, I totally forgot. But anyway, I'm gonna reline them. And then for my lip color, I'm gonna go for Tower 28, Shine On Lip Jelly in the shade Pistachio. This is one of my favorite lip gloss shades from them. This feels more like a lip oil than a lip gloss. It is very slippery, very comfortable on the lips. And then I'm gonna top it off with Patrick Ta, she's an influencer. This is very, very sparkly. So I'm just gonna add that to the center. And that sort of completes my look using all AAPI owned brands. What do we think? I'll tell you what I think. This has got to be one of my favorite, easy, everyday, go-to types of looks. And I guess maybe this comes from the sense that I wasn't actually trying new products. I was using all the products that I'm well familiar with. I know how they pair together. I know how they wear on my skin and I know how to use them. And I'm almost a little sad that it took this video for me to put all of these products together in one single usage. But at the same time, I am very happy that I filmed this video because perhaps maybe not everyone knew that some of these brands were AAPI owned or that they should be 
supported for that matter, you know. So I hope you guys found this video useful. I hope that this was a little bit educational for you. Perhaps maybe you have not heard of these brands before, or maybe, like I said, you didn't know that they were AAPI owned, so that just gives you a little bit more incentive to try them out and check them out for yourself. So with that, I am gonna zoom on out. Thank you guys so much for watching, for sticking to the end. Subscribe if you aren't already. Zooming on out, inviting you to check out more of my videos. Peace out, and I'm out.